Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again. It is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? You know the vibes, man. You read the title. I'm about to get in my bag. I told you a lot more. Uh, what do you want to call it? Clothing videos, try on videos are coming soon. I've been telling y'all that for a minute, so I'm happy to be finally unrolling these joints. Now, this weekend I will be in Miami. Please. Do not spam the comments with all of the COVID Miami. I listen, I know Florida is under a crazy, uh, it's a crazy time for Florida right now. And uh, the only reason why I am going to Miami is because it's my brother Flight's birthday. So if you don't know Flight Academy Kicks, he's another YouTuber and he literally just hit 10,000 subs, guys. So I linked him down below. If we can just please head over there for a birthday gift and give him a quick subscribe, it will definitely mean a lot to me. And I know it'll mean a lot to him. He works super hard, great content. I think you guys will love him. But uh, yeah, go over there and show my bro some love and give him a sub. But regardless, it's Flight's birthday. He lives in Florida and he decided to rent a mansion in Miami and uh, I told him I was gonna be down before like the numbers start spiking up and going crazy so now I'm kind of regretting it but my ticket is already bought the mansion is already paid for so I guess it is what it is we will definitely just make sure that we are in the house it is a mansion so it's enough a room enough space we got a swimming pool we got all that good stuff there to enjoy we're not gonna be like out and about or nothing like that so we're just gonna be chilling at the crib so I don't you know what I'm saying thank you guys for the heads up because I'm pretty sure you guys gonna tell me but I appreciate it but regardless I wanted to tell you guys like or show you guys some of the things that I planned on taking with me on the trip because it's Miami at the end of the day it's still a good vibe so of course, we want to have good vibes all weekend. Anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell for new videos. But without further ado, let's get into it. I brought like five outfits with me just to show you guys a few different looks that I'm going to be doing in Miami. Like some of these are all around looks. Some of these are just like shorts looks. Some of these are very simple. You might see a lot of these on my thrift videos that I'm finally putting together. And also, every pair or every outfit that I have, I'm undiessing the pair of sneakers behind me because I have so many shoes I've never worn before. It's time to start getting some wears out of them. So I'm undiessing every single pair that goes with the outfit. So let's get into it. Coming up first off, man, I got both of these thrifting. I'm gonna wear this probably, don't know when or what order, but this is what I'm taking to uh, Miami. If you guys wanna check out these fits like in full outfit, then make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is linked down below, because I will be posting these while I'm there. So starting off, I'm gonna be wearing this gray. It's almost like, uh, what do you wanna call it? I don't want to call it vintage, but it is a vintage uh, Detroit wet ring shirt. And it also has like that NHL embroidered right there on the back. Nice embroidery. I do feel like that's fire. And also got like some embroidery right there on the back as well. Very vintage. I believe like this one came out a while ago. I, I think it had like this the year on it. I don't know what the year is. But gray, black, red, very, very easy to rock. And I want to do something different with this because I know with this, you can do something basic and pick like a bread four or a bread 11 or an infrared six, like the basic Chicago colorway because you get a basic Chicago color blocking. But I decided to go a little bit different. I wanted to wear some shorts with this. So I decided to get the thrifting shorts that I got, the Adidas shorts. And these ones stop pretty high but they still not like no boy shorts and nothing like that, you know, ain't nothing that going on, but they are like the higher set shorts, it's not like basketball shorts, it's more like a swim trunk look. So I did decide to go with the Adidas here and to bring it all together for the feet. It was a pretty close decision, but I decided to go for the Yeezy 700 static for the gray on the bottom. So you got gray on top, gray on the bottom. You got the black to kind of separate the top from the bottom. I definitely think that this outfit will be chill, man. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot of around the pool vibes, just chilling. So I do have shorts and I do have jeans because I am one of those guys that like to wear jeans year round, no matter if Miami is hot, if it's 100 degrees, 300 degrees, I like wearing jeans, okay? So trust me, there will be jeans in this rotation as well. But for the first fit, we got the Yeezy 700 Statics. We got the black Adidas shorts, of course, with this nice Chicago, oh, I'm sorry, not Chicago, Detroit Red Wings uh, vintage shirt. Comment down below, let me know what you feel about this one. Cool, blah, blah, nice cool vibe. I'm very, very simple. I just make simple look good. I'm not flexing it like that, but I never do nothing over the top, nothing too crazy. I just know how to make stuff work all right guys so next up on the list as i told you guys i do love wearing pants so i got a pair of pants and a shirt over 
this shirt I got, where did I get this shirt from? I don't even remember why I got it. I think I got this shirt from ASOS. If you guys know what ASOS is, it's a clothing company. Very, very good clothing company. They got a lot of high brands over there. They sell Adidas, Nike, man, Polo, Ralph Lauren. They sell a lot of stuff, like so much stuff I can't even think about. But I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of ASOS already. If you buy like over like $100 worth of stuff, you get free next day shipping. It's always great. The quality is amazing. I like ASOS. So you get this graphic printed tee. Nothing too crazy here, graphic print tee. And then you have what? Well, I decided to bring like some nice denim wash jeans just to get like a different color variation or a different color blocking on the waistline. I think that would have been fire. I got these over from Serenity. I know a lot of you guys know I love Serenity. They got a lot of great jean options over there. Probably 90, 50, 50. I got a lot of Serenity jeans, a lot of minimal jeans. Other than that, I really don't have nothing at all. Those are the two jeans I'm really rocking with heavy right now. Serenity has that nice stretch fit denim. So it's never feeling like too tight, even after a nice meal or when you bending over to pick something up. So I decided to go with the wash denim jeans and the shoe that i thought would bring all of this together is a shoe that was sent to me recently from puma we have the puma rsx3 and i think that this will bring it all together because even though it's very very loud i told you guys i got a south beach vibe i got the patent leather i will be rocking these in south beach with the south beach vibe you see the lighter the lighter jeans here and i think that the graphic tee pretty much goes with it pretty simple you see that very very easy i could have went with black jeans but that's too much black you definitely need something to separate the top from the bottom so it just doesn't look like one big color blocking so i decided to go with the light wash denim jeans the graphic tee and of course the pumas man on the feet so be looking out for this picture as well i'll probably will be posting some photos when i do touch down uh on a daily as i'm rocking these outfits so if you want to see how actually how they look if you don't think they look as fire as i think they will look then make sure you check out my instagram to see you next up is another pair of shorts as i told you guys we will be in miami so it will be hot and i'm not gonna want to wear jeans all the time so i did decide to bring more shorts with me i'm not a fool okay boom here we go man we're gonna start it off light we're gonna start off with the shorts this time the shorts very simple very easy very clean you get some red swim trunks i'm telling y'all swim trunks are not just good for the pool you can wear swim trunks with actual fits i do it all the time nobody knows it's easy it's simple i think i paid like two dollars for these they got like the official lifeguard logo right here at the bottom just for a little bit of colorway and they also have like the speedo sign and lifetime speedo right there at the bottom as well but we're not paying attention to that we just paying attention to the red color blocking which will look great with the black color blocking coming from this marlins the marlins colorway and the reason why i went with this marlin shirt with the red is because black and red always go together but more importantly i really like the color that was coming from the marlins logo you see those different variation of color whether it be the blue white yellow red i thought this would be a great opportunity to be able to undies a pair of sneakers that has those same colors going throughout the entire shoe and it's still not matchy match we have the adidas yeezy 350 yay chill i thought this would be a great time to be able to bring these out with some shorts you see the red man you see the different color variations going through the prominent upper of the yay chill now as you guys can see it's not matchy matchy but it's still a great way to just put two and two together with the marlins and of course the yay shields just because of the different color variations they have and the font and the different color variations they have in the prominent i do believe that like small hints like that in clothes can really make or break the outfit so make sure y'all comment down below and let me know what do you feel about outfit number three the red shorts the marlin shirt and the yeezy 358 chill that was my second pair of yeezys i do like wearing the yeezys when i'm on vacation or just chilling because they're very very comfortable i like to be comfortable you know what i'm saying i like to be in my own space here and last but certainly not least man i alluded to this one a little bit on my thrift video if you guys had checked it out but uh here we go another pair of jeans and another shirt this time i went again with the serenity jeans huge serenity fan i went with this colorway because it's a lot going on you see the paint speckles on it it kind of got like this nice wash feel but it has a lot of different color variations within the jeans and i thought this would probably be perfect for the one and only drum roll please the cleveland browns tee that y'all clown me for copping y'all know i'm from cleveland even though my team is not the best we actually not that bad okay because we got way better okay we got odell we got kareem hunt we got nick chubb okay you know what i'm saying we got some people we got baker mayfield and hey, we might just go out and get cam newton you know what i'm saying we got jarvis landry on the other side we good 
Okay, we gonna be all right. We we gonna be all right. This season is the season where we gonna actually make it to the playoffs. So you know I'm from Cleveland. I gotta rep the Browns. Of course, I chose to go with like this different denim to go with this on the upper. Once again, I really do like changing up the color blocking and not keeping it all one color. The shoe I thought that would bring all of this together to under yes was the Nike Syracuse Dunk. Obviously, the white and orange, orange being my favorite color. This shirt basically being dominated by the brown and the orange gets a little bit of love, but I do believe that the white definitely will make the white pop out on the helmet, a little bit on the color blocking, this Reebok logo a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We got a little bit of cross cross dressing, you know, with, with the different brands, but nobody's gonna really care. But yeah, that's where I decided to throw together the vintage Cleveland Browns Reebok shirt. That's back when like the NFL was being sponsored by Reebok and not Nike, which is crazy. And then we have the jeans, the Pilato jeans over by Serenity and the Nike dunk to bring it all together with that white and orange. And yeah, man, that's pretty much my outfits for Miami. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think. Do I got a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm talking about. A lot of people say YouTubers can't dress. I'm not saying I'm the flyest. Believe it or not, it is some YouTubers out there that, that pretty much got like a lot of of a lot of style, especially sneaker YouTubers in particular. I'm not saying I'm the freshest, I'm not saying I'm the cleanest, but I do like the way I put certain things together. I would like for you guys to tell me if you're rocking with these or head over to my Instagram and rate a few of my fists if you want to, and uh, it's always appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping these bangers. And until next time, it is your boy Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who really putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big. <laughs>